Well, now to the announcement that caught many people off guard across the Miami Valley. Good Samaritan Hospital is closing, and much of it will be torn down. It's a shocker. We now know that Good Sam will be closing at the end of this year, and about 21 to 2,200 employees will be impacted. And to give you an idea of the patient impact the hospital had, more than 261,000 outpatient visits in the year 2016 and 65,000 ER visits. Tune News reporter Dana Smith begins our coverage with more on this major developing story. Yes, that's right, Mark and Brooke. I'm right here on Philadelphia Drive, right in front of Good Samaritan Hospital. Now, Premier Health officials say they're closing the hospital down for, among other reasons, it simply doesn't make economic sense, they say, to operate two hospitals so close to one another. Now, they're talking about Miami Valley Hospital, which is actually just down the road, five miles in downtown Dayton. It was an announcement described by Dayton's city manager as bad news. This is, this is disappointing and bad news for the city. Dayton's Good Samaritan Hospital on Philadelphia Drive is closing by the end of the year. Premier Health President and CEO Mary Busalis said one reason for the closure, they have another major hospital just five miles away. 33% of the visits at Miami Valley Hospital currently are from people living in the Good Sam neighborhood. Whether it's, you know, by car, by emergency vehicle, by, by bus, people do in fact have access. Five miles apart is a pre pretty reasonable access point. She said patients with upcoming visits or surgeries will continue as normal. But when it's down to the final stages of the move, patients will be accommodated at another facility based on their needs. Our first goal is always safety of our patients, and that's why we didn't want to do this quickly or without a very thorough plan. And as for the approximate 2,000 staff members and health officials who work at Good Samaritan. Our goal, and I'm really proud of this, is to offer every employee a job. She said Premier Health will work with each staff member throughout the year to decide the best course of action for their future. She said Premier will save upwards to $8 million a year in operating costs once Good Sam is closed. And as for what's going to happen to the hospital now, the building is going to be demolished except for the parking garage and the health center. And I'll have more on that and how exactly they're going to go about that coming up at 5. But for now, live in Dayton, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.